2020 has been a tough year for everyone. No one expected a worldwide pandemic and how many organisations were actually prepared for the global workforce to shift to remote working almost overnight. Like a lot of essential industries, cybersecurity has been thrust into the front line and has had to adapt quickly. Many organisations already had some form of hybrid security in place, but this huge shift put unexpected strain on people, processes and technology. Even leadership has had a tough time dealing with the balancing act and now more than ever it's difficult to ensure that the lines between security and convenience aren't being blurred. Over the past few months we've had the opportunity to learn a lot from our peers. We've had success stories and lessons learned from the mistakes made. From this I've identified three areas where I think cybersecurity leaders should be focusing as we try to overcome the pandemic and return to what is now the new normal. The first is security culture. Cybersecurity teams need to move out of the shadows and embrace a culture of transparency with the entire organization they operate within, not just focusing on the technical stakeholders. Educating everyone from the lawyers to comms teams to customer contact center operatives about the culture and the ideologies which underpin cybersecurity is crucial. Only with this kind of transparency can the company respond as a whole to mitigate threats at the user level. The second is security by design. Security must be built into the technological infrastructure that underpins everything an organization does, rather than what's bolted on as an alleviating factor in the event of a problem or a new situation such as the remote workforce. Cybersecurity is played out using technology, but as always it's dictated by humans, and that's the third one. The strength of the cybersecurity community lies in their ability to unite around a common good, building bonds both internally and externally that are strong enough to collectively evolve in the face of a never-ending threat landscape. This evolution is key, but we can't afford to stand still. Opportunities for change exist in a number of avenues. Increased diversity and the ability to foster greater collaboration and education with non-technical teams appears to offer the route to least resistance. As for the technologies of the future, these form a crucial part of this collective change. In the constant game of digital cat and mouse, it's vital to have altruistic individuals manifesting their passion for security in the form of new countermeasures. It is only by bringing both of these elements together and continually enhancing both can the sector continue to be a force for good, even in this ever-changing world. In security, we talk a lot about people, process and technology. And it really is in that order. The culture of the people will help influence the processes, which in turn will help influence the buying decisions and the implementation decisions of your technologies.